Thank you, Mr. Rajneesh Kumar, joining us right now on the phone line. Mr. Kumar, thanks so much for joining in. Uh, we have experts from across panels, but could you give us some details of what transpired as we as we learn that lenders have constituted a management committee and lenders are willing to fund up to 1,500 crores by way of debt? No, basically, like uh, uh, the resolution plan for Jet Airways is almost ready. The work has been going on for last uh, four months. But because of uh, some issues where the two JV partners could not arrive at the common terms, so the best way for new investors to come in was that uh, the, uh, the whole around ownership and new investment is settled by the board of Jet Airways, which reportedly they did it today and as they have informed the stock exchange. So today's development ensures that very quickly new investors can evaluate the value of the enterprise and uh, they can submit their uh, plans that how will they revive okay. and the process will start immediately we will be appointing merchant bankers to uh, take a start the process in fact uh, as i was mentioning that lot of preparation and groundwork has already been done it is a meal which is ready to be served we have to see that uh, who wants to eat it and uh, what is their uh, requirement. To understand as I look at the flashes that 1500 crores of immediate funding will be provided by the lenders to run the operations at the airlines. Is that, uh, is that, is that correct? So this is the priority funding which is needed mm -hmm. and uh, this will be sufficient to revive the jet airways in our assessment and uh, uh, this funding uh, is as I said, just for uh, uh, or two, rather two months cushion we have kept. And uh, then uh, once the new investors have uh, formed up their mind, so uh, there will not be much of an issue. Hmm. The structure of the, uh, the restructuring of the equity and debt is in such a manner mm -hmm. that uh, the facility which is being proposed is fully secured. Mm -hmm. It will be a, likely a 10-year instrument details of which will be made and uh, uh, it will not be a listed uh, debt instrument it will be an unlisted debt instrument but the risk reward metrics is not against the lenders we have uh, McKinsey already working in jet airways as turnaround is present there is already a turnaround plan we uh, will be appointing means jet airways board will be appointing a very reputed firm, either Big Four or a and uh, to monitor the whole restructuring exercise. So the limited point I am making is that this kind of uh, uh, sort of comments that lenders are not aviation experts, we know. If we run our bank well, that itself is good for us. I have no intention to run the aviation sector or any other sector for that matter. But it was necessary that whatever has happened today, and uh, uh, what will be happening in the next two months, the intent is very clear that whoever takes the risk, they get the proper reward. And a great airline like Jet Airways is not allowed, please mark my word, is not allowed to die under NCLT process, which will lead to liquidation. It is a chance which everyone is taking. and. At least I am confident that Jet can be revived successfully. Mr. Kumar, I have two questions, one very specific and one slightly broader. The specific question is, uh, so how much will the consortium end up holding in terms of equity? Uh, and will any individual bank be in breach of the RBI's rules of how much equity in a company you're allowed to hold? Will you have to seek any special permission? No. Uh, the sec no. no, okay. The second specific question is, this 1500 crore is likely to be adequate as uh, you know, working capital or whatever it's being provided as for how much time, sir? Our assessment is two months. Two months only. And by that time, we intend to complete the sale process. Sir, but there are no uh, obvious buyers on the table so right how now. How do you know that? How do you know that? Are uh, there, sir? Can you tell me two people you are no, in I talks can't. with? I can't. Okay. But who, who are the potential investors, sir? Uh, that you have to find out from your sources. Okay, so you are saying, you are telling us, you are giving us a guarantee that in two months, banks will I be out of business. I guarantee. Bankers' guarantee has a lot of value. I am not giving any guarantee that uh, everything will be positive. Just I am giving you my assessment of the situation 
that there is a good possibility that lot of investor interest will come in and jet airways has a good brand they have fantastic slots it is a fantastic airline in terms of service quality india needs a airline like jet airways and earlier also it said that lenders will make every effort that it keeps on flying okay sir uh, sir is etihad still on the table sir is etihad still on the table sir or have they decided that they don't want to participate any more in terms of the yeah. revival yeah. plan who etihad etihad sir the current partner it is their choice even mr naresh goel it is his choice and his capability to bring in the funds so doors are open for everyone because uh, the uh, existing promoters are eligible to rebid under the relevant laws 29a in eligibility under ibc does not apply to them so they are eligible etihad is willing etihad is free to take their call and any outside investor is free to take their call but there will be i can uh, uh, i can i i can feel that there is there will is going to be a competition to acquire jet airways Uh, Mr Kumar my last question uh, I know you're not going to like it but I'm going to ask it in any case uh, you know we've seen this story play out before whether it was in Kingfisher or it was in Arcom where banks went in and said that no we won't take it into insolvency we feel we can resolve it and the process just gets stretched and stretched and stretched and in the end the banks are left holding the ball uh, why are bankers saying that this is a great airline that needs to be saved bankers should simply be ensuring that the depositors money is coming back if IBC is the best route why the reluctance again very wrong understanding on your part it is not about that we are uh, again that we are putting depositors money at risk you did not mark my words what i said that the risk reward matrix is not against the lenders in the whole case ask your analyst team to do some ground some uh, some homework look at the numbers and they will see that it is not against bank it is not against taxpayers we are paying just 1 rupee of taxpayers money for 50.1 percent stake in jet that to only for a transitory period of 2 months if there is a patient right right which is sick sometimes if there is no hope then one should not try So, uh, so, so you mark it down as an NPA at the end of March. So, will it be an NPA at the end of March, and you will start to uh, increase provisions on it? I assume 90 days end in March. So, one is that uh, uh, it will not be 90 days overdue, and whatever prudential provision if required to be made, or any mark to market provisions are to be made that we will make. But if it qualifies as a restructuring plan, sir, then under Feb 12th, don't you have to mark it down as an NP in any case? I'm not sure whether this qualifies if, as a restructuring uh, or not. We have to do. If we have to qualify this as NP, we will qualify this as NP. If we don't have to do, we will not do. Okay, is two months a firm deadline, sir, within which you want a new buyer? And if not, yes. what is the recourse, sir? That we will see. Why do we speculate today? because it would be nice to get some visibility from banks on how they intend to actually so take this forward i go back to other cases bank. where banks have just extended and pretended to use a phrase by a former rbi deputy governor so and in the end it is sorry that sir that is your assessment of the that is your assessment of the situation you live with it our assessment of the situation is that uh, it can be revived okay so how much uh, of a role is the government playing uh, in uh, the restructuring revival process right now uh, there was some talk that you know there may be conversations with spice jet to take over some planes to ensure that customers are not uh, no hurt such, etc no can you conversation no such conversation but you have to understand that airlines are governed under aircraft rules and ministry of civil aviation guidelines and to that extent Uh, the uh, any resolution plan cannot happen without the approval of ministry of civil aviation under the relevant rules so government's role is to clear or security clear and approve the transaction when it happens under the relevant rules and have all lenders approved this plan sir which has been approved today is it a 100% coc to, approval or the, they, will, they will do we will follow the process okay Okay Mr Kumar thank, thank you thank you very much thank bye. you thank you so much bye. Mr Kumar